Hey everyone, I think it's about time we finish this first Audacity file. Don't you? Hey everyone, welcome to our third tutorial on Audacity. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about fading in and fading out, a little bit about what this whole waveform thing means, and finally, we'll take a look at how to export our file to an MP3. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's talk about waveforms. You can see here, we've got this blue uh, wavy form in the middle. It's called a waveform. And it tells you a little bit about what you're looking at. So I'm actually just gonna zoom in here on the part where I'm talking. Now, what you see here is a an area that either gets bigger or smaller. It either goes far up or far down. And the further up this area goes, the louder the track is. And the closer to the center it goes, the quieter the track is. So if I highlight this area right here and hit play, we shouldn't hear much. Let's test that out. So notice how you didn't hear a lot there. It was almost silent. And you could tell that just by looking at it because it's in the center, it's close to zero. Now this area here, the waveform goes all the way up to one and all the way down to negative one almost, which means that this area here is pretty loud. Check it out. So you see the difference. You, you, you can tell the areas that are loud and the areas that are quiet just by looking at this form. So let's take a look at fading in and fading out. So I've got this track. I'm gonna zoom out so we can see the whole track. And what I'm looking at here is an area of music. I start talking right here, and then a long track of music at the end. Well, that's going to sound really funny to have like um, two minutes of music after I'm done talking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it about 10 seconds after I'm done talking at this 30 second mark right here. And I'm going to select everything after that and I hit the delete key on the keyboard and that gets rid of all that extra music. But here's the thing, if I leave it like this, the end of my track is gonna sound like this. And that is a really abrupt ending. It would sound much better if we could fade it all the way out. Now last time we looked at the envelope tool and that could help us fade it out, but the envelope tool is never gonna take the sound down to zero. It's never gonna take the sound down to absolute silence, which is what we wanna have happen here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the section of the track that I wanna make fade out to. So I'm gonna take the last five seconds of the track. And actually I don't wanna have anything afterwards selected. So I'm gonna go from the 25 mark to there. And then I'm gonna go up to the effects and I'm gonna select fade out. And you'll notice that now, when you look at the waveform, it goes from loud and in five seconds time gets quieter. This is what that's gonna sound like. And there we go. It brings it down to absolute silence. Now, at the beginning of my track, it is a pretty abrupt intro. Let's find out what that sounds like. To make that sound a little bit uh, easier going into the track, I'm gonna take about 2.5 seconds, so about that much right there. And I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna to go to effect, and I'm gonna go fade in. So what you'll see happen now is the track gradually over two and a half seconds gets louder. So now the intro sounds like this. So that's a quick and easy way to fade in and fade out of your tracks. So I think I'm done. I think this track is completely done. Let's hear what it sounds like all together. Good morning, Brown Middle School. Every student, every day, college and career ready. Today is October 12th, 2015 of the current era, and these are your morning announcements.
All right, now, while that was playing, I was watching this area right here, and it never got to the point where these two boxes right here lit up red, which means I shouldn't have any clipping. Another way I can tell I won't have any clipping, and clipping is just a like a harsh clicking noise when the volume gets too loud. Uh, the other way I know I don't have any clipping is because I don't have any red marks over here in my waveform, which is another way you can tell if you were talking too loud. So I'm ready to export this. So the way I do that, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to File and Save Project. Always a good idea to save your files a lot of different times while you're working on things. And then I'm gonna go to File and Export Audio. Once I'm in File Export Audio, I'm gonna give it a name. Morning Announcements. I'm going to go, I'm already in the right folder, the Audacity Lessons. And you've got a couple of different options now. Uh, I could save this as a WAV file. A WAV file is an uncompressed file, meaning that it sounds really good, but it's also really big. And that's gonna take a lot of space on your computer. So another file, one that you've probably heard of before, is an MP3 file. Now an MP3 file still sounds really good, but it compresses the file down to make it smaller. If I go to the options here, I can actually pick how small I want it to be. So the quality right here right now is set to 128, and that's about CD quality usually. Uh, but I could bump that way up to 320 if I really wanted it to sound really good uh, or really you know, not as good but I'm gonna keep it right here at 128. I'm gonna hit okay and I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna tell me that my tracks are gonna be mis mixed down into two stereo channels. That's good. Right now I've got one mono track here and one stereo track. Uh, since we only have two ears, it's gonna be mixed down into a stereo track where some of the sound is gonna come out of one ear, some of the sound's gonna come out of the other ear. So I'm gonna hit okay here and it's gonna give me an option to edit the uh, metadata. And I'm gonna get rid of all of that. Actually, I'm gonna leave that there because that tells everyone where I got the music from. Uh, my, my name right here, the track title here. And what this does is uh, programs like iTunes will use this to help you find your music, to help you sort your music. And it gives the program information about that track. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit OK, and it is going to export that audio. So now I've got an MP3 file here. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. It taught you something. If it did, please consider hitting like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. J Corwin, and we'll see you next time.